Hi, this is Jared over at thetouringcamper.com. I'm going to give you a quick tutorial of the Good Sam RV Club Trip Planner. Uh, if you do notice here down on our site, and just as a notice, this is an affiliate link, but down here we do have some of the Good Sam links. If you click on that, that you can get a membership right through there. Uh, or you can go directly to Good Sam RV. Uh, and where we're going to be looking right here is under Plan a Trip. And you would click on Trip Planner. And once you log in, it's going to bring you to this screen here. And uh, in order to start a trip, you're going to have to first start a trip and start a new trip. Um, this is just an overview, so I'm just going to show you an overview. You have to have at least two points in the trip for it to actually work. Uh, but one of the nice things about it is you can come up here and you can customize. It'll tell you the trip total distance, how long it's going to take, uh, estimated fuel cost. And if you come up to settings, you can give your starts and your stops if you want to avoid tolls or highways. Um, you can always put RV warnings on, and I usually typically put those on. You can customize, the, customize them based upon some different things if you don't want to go on tunnels or bridges or things of that nature. You can also turn this search RV on, route on, and that's one of the main functions that I use, and I'll show you how to use that uh, here in a moment. But you can also general settings, that's what I did show you already. Once you want to add a stop, let's say we didn't want to do this whole thing in one day. Let's say we want to stop in Charlotte. You would just type in Charlotte, hit enter, and let's say we're going to stop in Charlotte, North Carolina. It'll come up, click add to trip. And then when we scroll back out, you can see it auto adjusted your route going from the center of Pennsylvania down here to the Florida, west coast of Florida. You can get a lot more specific if you'd like. Uh, but some of the neat things here is if you click campgrounds, then you can turn on Good Sam you, and you can set what ratings you want. You can turn on private campgrounds or you can public campgrounds or you can turn on all three. And what it will do is, let me show you for example, if we turn on all three here, it will show you, let's say we were going to try to make Charlotte in our first night, It'll show you all of the campgrounds that are within that 30 mile radius of your intended designation. Let's say we are going to stop here at, let's see what's this, Charlotte Fort Mill KOA, which we have done a review for because we have stayed there before. If you click Add to Trip, it'll automatically add that to your trip. You see here it's in location after Charlotte. Um, and I'll give you a little tutorial on how I use this, but that's just a, a real quick way how you add it. Um, some of the other neat things about this function, I would turn, let's go back to campgrounds and let's turn all three of these off. Otherwise it gets rather cluttered rather quick. Let's say we we're going to be staying here in the Charlotte area and we wanted something to do. If you click the things to do, you can select any of these different options. So let's say you wanted to go to an amusement park while you were in Charlotte Fort Mill area. You would turn the, that little option on. And there would be a history museum, for example, or there's Carowinds, whatever that happens to be. Um, so there's uh, those. Also, because Camping World is affiliated with Good Sam, you can turn on and you can see the Camping World stores. And so is Pilot Flying J. So you can turn on your Flying J. Uh, you can turn on your rest areas. You can turn on just about all of these different options that you might want. Uh, one of the neat ones that I've liked so far is the Quirky and Oddball and it comes up with some real oddballs, uh, different things that are along that route. So um, then you can go and you can kind of see if you click on the My Trip section or list all of your different trips and you can switch back and forth between them. You can do a general search um, and down here we'll give you a general tour as well if you want to see that as well. Uh, but once again, this is just the brief overview of the Good Sam Trip Planner. It's one of the resources that I've used extensively for uh, the trip that we are looking at doing next summer. Um, so just to give you a, a brief overview of how to use it, and then in an upcoming video I'll give you the full length version.